This is Making Memories One Day at a Time. Hi there, everyone. This is Making Memories One Day at a Time, and I wanted to share with you a little bit about um, Jay and, and I and our lives. And one of the things that we love to do on a regular basis is we are avid pool players, and I'm laying right now on our pool table, which we just had recovered. Because we play um, in three nights a week, we also practice here at home. And because we practice here at home, we wear the table cloth on the table out pretty quick. So we've been here three years and it's already time to recover. So we hired a wonderful company um, with a guy named Mike. The name of the company is Pool Table Pros. Guy is the only certified Brunswick table technician here in the state of Florida. We really enjoy playing um, pool. It's something we can do together. It's always wonderful when you as a couple can find things that you really enjoy doing together. What I'd like to share with you is Mike and um, Pool Table Pros came in to refinish the table for us. They literally had to take the whole entire table down and move it about four inches diagonally away from two different walls. Ready, Jordan? Just bring pressure off. Okay, just bring pressure off. I will let you know that I didn't start videoing it until after we actually took the rails off. So it's gonna be from when the rails are off of the table and when he starts to actually break down the taking the, the old cloth off and the slate and actually taking the entire table pretty much apart to move it the four inches. So anyway, um, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go right now and we will share with you um, the process. And what is your name? Mike. Mike, and you work for? Uh, pool Table Pros. I'm the only Brunswick certified mechanic in Florida. Wow. And I, I, I've set up, I mean, I, I literally probably 500 of these tables. Well, I've already joined. My, my, my uh, self. Like, if you look at these wedges down here, he has this whole thing, like he has it wedged up like this. There should always be two ends on the, the slate, on the table. So you see this, this is up in the air and the wedges come all the way back. Mm -hmm. And then if you look back there, it goes all the way flat down on the base frame. Okay. This gap right here. So it's goes smaller and smaller. So he kind of he kind of leveled it out. You um, do whatever you gotta do to make it right. I just want it, I just want it right. You know what I mean? It's kind of leveled it out. What it, what it, what it costs, it costs. Weird. But we You got the fun job pulling all the staples out. Yeah. Are those all those staples just from the last time they did it? Um, or you think that's two sets? Two are sets? they? Dang, they are. Yeah, so, so we're they didn't even take we're out recovering your table basically twice. So that's just the old stuff that was on top of the plate? Uh huh. Wow. I mean, I've been, this is like, I've been screaming. I know. I've been watching you. Days. <laughs> so. Now, is there a certain type of slate that they use and different qualities of slate and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is a good slate. It's a Brazilian slate. Uh, Italian slate is the heaviest slate. It's all gone now. Oh, yeah, they've, they've used it all up, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mike says this is the way the scene should be. There you go. Thank you. 
They're just making sure there's nothing else on the slate yeah, now. Stuff all over. Is that stuff that was there already? Yeah. Oh yeah, they never cleaned it off, huh? Um, Looks at it and he goes, this is pretty good. <laughs> nothing like admiring your work. It's all good. That, it always tears on the, the way that the cloth is woven. Yeah. Like that, that stuff, the cheaper stuff will go both ways. Yeah. For some reason, the Simonis you can only tear it long ways. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer to work work with the uh, Simonis? No. No, because it's harder. Way harder. Because it doesn't stretch the way the other does. It's so unforgiving. So this side has to be folded. Mm -hmm. This okay. side has to be folded. It goes under. <coughs> um, and, and because of why? Why would that need to be folded on this side? Because um, it's... Yeah, that's how that's how it's done. This is flat. You see that's curved. Right. Oh, okay. Because get... oh, because this is the flat side. You it's want this to, to be. It's hard to get around that curve right there. Gotcha. Can't get the so the flat side they Same fold, side. but the curved side should not be folded. Right. And then it should come over here and. Just... And staple on the edges because you can't see that once the pocket goes on. Right. It goes right there. Just, you know, 20, 25% rubber. So really, there are a lot of them aren't rubber. And this is like, these are like 90 some percent. Yeah, like 99. Yeah. Like practically 100. Now, do those come with it or are they <laughs> new every time? No, these come with it. So the little, the little pieces you can, of wood? You, you can put new ones. I mean, obviously. Just curious. Once you do it more and more, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. The worse they get, the more you, you know chance right. you have to replace them. But Brunswick has nice. You see how they're like rounded on the bottom? Oh yeah. So normally they're just square. So these are actually like the the good ones. You you don't want to replace them if you can. Right. If possible. And what are they called? Feather strips. So you seem to really like the Brunswick tables that we have. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm, I'm the only Brunswick certified mechanic here in Florida. Which is, you know, not something you can, you can, you can't buy your way into it at all, or else everybody. And how did you get certified to do it? So I worked for the city of Chicago to get it to get the certification, and they'll tell you no if you don't pass. They'll say sorry. Thanks for coming. They moved me from Texas to Florida. Wow. They moved me from Texas to Florida to uh, to do this. There you go. That's your new smiles. Like you got a scary job, man, cutting the cloth <laughs> after it's been pulled. Whew. Yeah, it's all it's all scary. Trust me. That, you see, this is just where it's it's apparent because you got razor blade. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's me.
is going to go, you go on that end and we'll walk across the other end. I'm going to put it just a little bit in the front of the hole. Straight as a rail. I just kind of make sure it's at the right distance. That's right there, perfect. So it should be 22 to the dead center of it and 22 to the bottom of it. Mike so much from Pool Table Pros for doing such a fantastic job. We know we're going to get lots more years out of this um, process. Thank you so much.